Welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. We're talking football food again today. And I want to share with you one of the easiest recipes that I think you can do on the grill that's always a crowd pleaser. We're gonna do some smoked sausage for a sausage and cheese plate that, you know, it'll feed a lot of people. You just need a couple pounds of smoked sausage and I guarantee you everybody's gonna love it. You don't have to have a grill to do this. I've done it in the oven before and it works the same. But putting them out on your smoker, on your grill outside, is going to give the sausage some really great flavor. Now, what I have are uh, two different kinds of smoked sausage. This is where you can use whatever you want. I'm using a Polish kibasa and just an all-beef uh, smoked sausage. So there's nothing really to it. These are fully cooked. What we're doing is warming them back up. We're getting some color on the outside, a little of that grill flavor. We're going to season them up. And it doesn't take very long on your grill, so this is something you can do right before your guests get there where it's hot and ready to go. The first thing you hit them with is kind of an appetizer on game day. Now, I am going to put some rub on it because I want to get some flavor on these, and it doesn't stick real well, but just, you know, put, put a little on the outside. That's okay. You don't have to put any kind of binder or anything. When we throw them on the grill, we'll throw this side down, and we'll hit them again with the other. We're just getting some flavors on there, some barbecue essence, if you will. This rub's going to be really good. It's going to caramelize up a little bit, help... Uh, Get some flavor when that skin starts crackling on that grill. So now we're gonna go outside. Doesn't take real long. We're looking at maybe an hour. I'm gonna cook up on the top rack, but I'll show you that outside. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're out here at the grill now. Now, if you're cooking these at home, just get your grill fired up to a good medium heat. I'm looking at about 250 on mine here. That's plenty of heat to cook these sausages in about an hour. We don't want them uh, cooking so fast that they just split and all bust open. We want them to you know, slowly come up to 145 degrees, that's the proper internal temperature for them since they're fully cooked, we're just reheating them. But I've got a little smoke pellets on mine. If you wanna throw a few uh, wood chips on your fire, that's fine too. Adding another layer of rub on top just to give it some more flavor. Now we just let these sausages sit here and cook. Uh, we'll check them in about 30 minutes, see how we're doing. If, you're, if you are grilling these, you wanna turn them pretty often. Uh, you don't want them to burn, so just keep an eye on them, let them cook. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. I want to come back check on the sausages. They're looking good. I want to just go ahead and flip them about halfway through so they're cooking on both sides. So now we're just going to let this side cook about 30 more minutes and we'll be done. You'll know when these sausages, they start sweating a little bit. They'll start, you'll see them to where they're starting just to bust. We want to catch them before they bust up too bad. And that's, we're going to put a little bit of light glaze on them at the end. Then we'll be ready to assemble our sausage and cheese plate just in time for everybody to get there. Okay, it's been about 20 more minutes on the smoked sausages and now what I like to do is just put a little glaze on top of them. They're almost done, but I like to give them about five minutes on each side and this just adds another little layer of flavors to a regular old smoked sausage. And the sauce I'm using for this little glaze is just the Killer Hogs barbecue sauce. You can use whatever kind of sauce you like, but just a light coat. We'll let this go about five minutes and we'll flip them over and we'll glaze the back side. And after another five minutes, we're done. Okay, let's check our sausages out here. I know they are done. They've been on for just about an hour. Now, see, I'm starting to get a little split there. Glaze is set nice on them. That's all I want to do to these. Oh, they're going to tear them. That's okay. I saw that split coming. All right, we're going to take these sausages inside. Show you how we're going to plate this sausage cheese plate up for some football food. Okay, we're ready to slice up these smoked sausages that we've done out on the grill. I just like to take them and kind of cut them on a bice. It doesn't really matter which way you cut them up, but I just think it looks better for presentation. If you got a little skew on them, no right or wrong way, just get them all cut up. Two pounds makes a good bit of sausage. Now this is all the kibasa, so I'm just gonna kind of make two piles here. And use just a big platter when you're plating it up. Well, it gives you plenty of room to put all these Little side accompaniments we're gonna do here. Now let's do our beef. And this smoked sausage and cheese plate is kind of a famous for Memphis where we're from. You go to a barbecue restaurant or any kind of sports bar where you're watching football, having a cold drink, there's always gonna be a sausage and cheese plate on the menu. So we serve it all the time. It's hardly ever gonna to get together to where somebody's not bringing a sausage and cheese plate. Now let's assemble the rest of this platter. We've got our sausages cut up, sliced on an angle, and you can use any kind of cheese you want here when you're doing a sausage and cheese plate. Um, I, today I bought this mild cheddar and jack. 
already cubed up just makes it a little bit easier. We'll put a little on both sides. You gotta hit this with a little more rub. Make sure you get the cheese too. That's all presentation, but it's really good. Just a light dust in there. Traditionally, sausage and cheese plates are always served with dill pickle spears and pepperoncini peppers. So that's what I've got today. We'll just put a few pickles here, a few peppers on here. Then all you need is some saltine crackers to go around. And you got one awesome barbecue appetizer. People are gonna dive right into this. Now we serve it with um, a dipping sauce. Uh, I have just my regular barbecue sauce. Use any kind of barbecue sauce you like. And I've also made up one that I like, and it's uh, just a real quick mustard sauce. It's kind of barbecue because I use some of my barbecue sauce in it, but it's got some yellow mustard, a little bit of spicy mustard in it, touch of apple cider, some honey to sweeten it up, and then some spices. Let's give one of these a try. That's what we're working with today, if it's fit to eat. A little sausage, a little cheese. I'm going with mustard. Hmm. Now that's some football food. The guys be happy when they get over the house. You got this third out there for them. Some ice cold in the cooler. Thanks for checking out our football food video today. If you like what we're doing here at How to Barbecue Right, subscribe to our channel. For more recipes and how-tos on smoking and grilling, visit howtobarbecuerite.com. And come on back because we're going to be putting out a lot of these videos during this football season on different foods to cook. Come back and check us out.